remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. My name is Travis Cook, and for those of you who may be unfamiliar with me, I do a weekly political commentary show on YouTube entitled America's Evil Genius. But in addition to that, and probably more importantly in terms of this discussion, I also, for the last 15 years, have been involved in the professional wrestling industry. Now, no, I've never worked for WWE or I've never worked on the national level, but uh, for the last 15 years on kind of the independent level of pro wrestling, the minor leagues, if you want to call it that, uh, I've worked mainly in the Midwest, in the St. Louis, Missouri area specifically, in a variety of roles, both on camera and behind the scenes. I have managed professional wrestlers. I currently do that. I've refereed. I've announced. And in, in the behind the scenes world, I've worked oftentimes with the creative direction of some of the companies I've worked for, with determining who wrestles who and what kind of characters we put out and storylines we do and so forth. And also, I am a proud Tea Party supporter, as you can see here, and very proud of it. So it's so that unique combination of attributes that I took a lot of interest in the recent Tea Party controversy that the WWE has found themselves in. They have a character named Jack Swagger and, uh, and uh, Uncle Zeb, two characters out there, Jack Swagger and Uncle Zeb, who they have attempted to use in an effort to vilify the Tea Party or vilify conservatives. Now, some would say, well, how have they directly done that? Well, in the interviews and so forth of these guys recently, they put up the Gadsden flag, the Don't Tread on Me flag, that has been uh, really linked with the Tea Party over the last several years. Really, there's no other group of people in America right now that use that piece of iconography. So if you're going to use that with your wrestlers, that's pretty clear what you're aiming for. And what they've done with this character, these characters, I should say, is they've tried to paint Tea Party values, conservative values in a very negative light, specifically in terms of the debate on illegal immigration. They've tried to use these characters in a way that would make people feel that the Tea Party views on illegal immigration, the conservative views on illegal immigration are somehow racist. And a lot of people have taken exception to this, most notably a guy that I have a lot of respect and admiration for, Glenn Beck. He mentioned it on his program, and he was none too pleased about it. And in retort, uh, the Uncle Zeb and Jack, Jack Swagger characters did a little interview that they put out there on the internet over the weekend and uh, where they talked to directly at Glenn Beck, and they had some words for him. They said, hey, we're just entertainment. You know, it's not real. Well, I'd like to address some of that, if I might. Uh, they are correct. Professional wrestling is just entertainment. I'm not going to tell you anything differently than that. Vince McMahon himself, when asked what his company does, he oftentimes says, we make movies. So he views his company as an entertainment company. Uh, he views his company as, as something similar to a sitcom on, on television or a movie or something of that nature. Whether they actually achieve that or not is irrelevant, but that's what they try to do. That is their aim. So I would agree that, yeah, they are an entertainment company. But in that respect, as with every other form of entertainment, I do think it is worthwhile for those that feel their viewpoints are being portrayed negatively in the world of entertainment to stand up and say so. And I think this is one of those cases. I think this is a case where we should stand up and say, hey, it's not acceptable how you are portraying conservatives and tea partiers. Now, what's the answer to this? To go on some kind of boycott or something like that? Well, no, I don't think that's the best method here. I think there's something else that we who are tea partiers, we who are conservatives, we who have traditional values on illegal immigration, there's something we can do here. Professional wrestling, although it is entertainment, is still very unique in the entertainment world, and I'll tell you why. The flagship program of WWE, their flagship television program, it's called Raw, and it airs every Monday night on the USA Network. It's a very unique piece of entertainment because it is done live every week. They don't pre-tape it, they don't tape a whole season of it and then put one show out there a week like everything else does. No, they do this show live every week. And in addition to doing it live every week, they do it live in a major sporting arena somewhere in the country in front of a sold-out crowd of 15 to 20,000 people. And that creates, for my money, the most unique entertainment environment in America. Now think about what that means for a second. When you produce a live television show, you can control a lot of things. You can control you know, what your talent says and what they do and who comes out when and what you emphasize and what you don't. But on live television, you cannot control everything. Specifically, you cannot control the reaction of those 15 to 20,000 people that you have in the seats. 
What I'm suggesting is this. On the live television show Raw, or at the live pay-per-views, I'm suggesting that you, Tea Partiers, wrestling fans, whoever might be watching this, go to those shows, buy a ticket, see it's not a boycott, buy a ticket, go to the shows, and cheer loudly for Jack Swagger. Bring pro Jack Swagger signs. Bring your Gadsden flags. Bring your don't tread on me flags and prominently display him in the arena and on television and loudly cheer him no matter what he does. And over time, that will force the WWE, that will force their creative department to betray this character, to betray these ideas in a much more positive light and in a much more appropriate light than they are doing so right now. After all, if you've heard any of the interviews of this character, there's nothing racist in what he said at all. What, what he's advocating is simply that foreigners adhere to our laws when immigrating to the country. Well, how could that be, how could that be negative? It's a very baby face thing to say, and baby face being the wrestling parlance for the good guy. That's something you would expect a good guy to say. The things that Jack Swagger and Uncle Zeb are saying on television are things that the good guy should be saying, and it should be portrayed as such, however it's not. But we can change that. Now, you, some of you who don't watch professional wrestling, or may never have seen it, you may think that it sounds kind of wild to say that, hey, we as a live wrestling crowd could force this big multi-million dollar, billion dollar company to change your creative direction. But if you look back at history, this has actually happened in the past. Think no further back than the biggest wrestling star there's ever been, Stone Cold Steve Austin. WWE creative initially brought him out there as a heel or a bad guy, as you might say. And they brought him out there as a bad guy. They tried to push him as that. They tried to market him as that. But very quickly, all of the live crowds cheered him loudly. They brought the Austin 316 signs. They, they, they reacted very positively to him and very quickly. And to their credit, WWE began portraying him in a much more positive light. He didn't change what he did. He still gave people the middle finger. He still kicked him in the groin. He hit him with chairs. But they portrayed it in a positive light. And everybody was happy. And hey, they made more money as a company than they ever had. I'm suggesting that the same thing happened with Jack Swagger and Uncle Zed. That we as the fans take over this storyline of theirs, take over their program, and loudly cheer no matter what he does, no matter what he says, no matter how he's portrayed, and force them to more positively portray these ideas in this character. And hey, at the end of the day, this will actually work out for WWE. For any of you in the office, if you happen to watch this, and you're thinking I'm full of you-know-what, this will actually work out to your benefit in the long run. I, I will admit that on the East Coast and West Coast, they'll still be booed. They'll still be viewed negatively, no matter what you do. But here in the Mid Midwest and the South, in places where Uncle Zeb might call real America, you can be very popular if you play your cards right. And just think back to something you did back in the 90s with the Hart Foundation versus Steve Austin, where you had a rivalry where certain fan bases thought Steve Austin was the babyface, but up in Canada, they thought Bret Hart and the Hart Foundation were the baby faces. And depending on the town you went to, the good guys and bad guys might be reversed. You go up to Canada, people booed Steve Austin. Down here, they booed Bret Hart. And you made boo bucks out of that. I see potential with Jack Swagger in that regard. What he's saying in his interviews, although you're trying to portray it as negative, is something that resonates with an awful lot of us. And hey, we're a divided country right now, not just politically, we're divided culturally, we're divided in a lot of lines. And if I were an entertainment company trying to appeal to the masses, I would think that a one-size-fits-all philosophy of storytelling would be the last thing I'd want to do. So let's set this up to where Jack Swagger is portrayed positively, and people like us in the Midwest and the South will cheer him and we'll buy his t-shirts and so forth. And those malcontents on the East Coast and West Coast, they can continue to boom, that's fine. You'll make money. Our viewpoints will be portrayed positively as they should be. And you'll be the one reflexive bit of entertainment in America, the one bit of entertainment that actually listens to the fan base. What do you say? I've got a Facebook page right now called Let's Turn Jack Swagger Babyface. Like that page. Retweet it on and, and, and share it with your friends and so forth. And let's make a positive change for once in the entertainment industry.